All right, we had Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk press. We had the Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk press conference. I should say, I was going to call it the Tyson Fury press conference because realistically, that's really what it was. I got notified Monday evening about this, and I was kind of like, okay. Obviously, I couldn't go. I was in Morecambe, um, and I was like, okay. Why is there a press conference midweek for Fury Usec. Why is it only Team Fury? I was kind of a bit like, all right, I don't want to think the worst, but it's just a bit random and a bit strange. Now, again, I, I really don't understand why they needed to do this. To be honest, I watched it and all I can take from it is like, really, I'm, I'm kind of looking at it like, is Fury trying to talk himself confident is that really it is he trying to say things i'll give you an example right so tyson fury during this press conference was talking about cruiserweights moving up to heavyweight and ultimately being found wanting against the elite big guys and he mentioned the likes of david hay thomas adamek and he mentioned evander holyfield against bo and lewis forgetting of course that holyfield did beat riddick bo yes obviously he lost the trilogy two to one he really should have won that third fight he was on the verge in the sixth round that was a big heavy knockdown that evander and evander holyfield was losing that fight till he got that knockdown on bo just couldn't capitalize because bo was done but forgetting that and also forgetting that when he fought Lennox Lewis, and this is what I say about looking at a fighter then to later. So I always say with Tyson Fury, when he fought Wilder that was in the second fight, that was a brilliant performance. That was four years ago. A lot can change in four years. Holyfield, I would always say, when he fought Lennox Lewis was way past his best. Was he, you know, completely over the hill and out the door? Probably not that bad, but he wasn't in his peak, certainly not. And People would say, oh, he was, un- he was almost undisputed champ. Look, the first fight he lost, even though it was a draw. The second fight was more competitive, but Lewis still won. Now, Holyfield had been champion for three years at that point. That was, 19- that was November 99. He won that title off Tyson when he was a heavy underdog in 96. Are you going to be as good three years after the fact? More often than not, no. Unless you're maybe in your 20s, going into your 30s or early to mid-20s. Yeah, you might be. But when you're in your advanced age for a fighter, you're not going to be as good. So him mentioning Holyfield coming up short against Bo, even though he did actually get a win over Bo, and him coming up short against Lewis, despite the fact he was past it, past his best at the time, Thomas Adamek. I mean, Adamek is... Adamek started at light heavy. I think he lost to Chad Dawson. Fought a cruiser, and obviously a heavyweight. He had no business there. He was knocked out by Eric Molina, for God's sakes. But Thomas Adamek is not Alexander Rusek. David Hay... His style of heavyweight changed. He became more someone who just looked to proper ambush, you know, jump in with big shots. When he fought Klitschko, he got held a lot, held an awful lot against Klitschko, which was Klitschko's thing. He mentioned Abragamov, Suleiman Abragamov, or Sultan Abragamov. And that fight he had against Klitschko, I think that was an MSG in 08. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that might have been one of, if not the last Klitschko fight he had in America up until he fought Jennings in 2015. And it was a terrible fight. I wouldn't recommend anyone go and watch it. And he was right, I believe he did. Uh, I think he beat Shannon Briggs on points, if I'm not mistaken. But that's what Fury had to say. And again, when you're looking at this, right, and of course Frank Warren mentioned Alexander Usyk is a crybaby, saying, you know, the weakness is the body. And he gave two very good examples of him being dropped in the amateurs, one by Paterbiev. And for anyone, so, no, 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 he's right. They were two legit body shots that dropped Alexander Usyk. There's no ifs or buts. That, that was right. He was right. Fair enough. But with the Dubois one, it's, you know, oh, you know, he cries to the referee, he does this, that, and the other. I said that in the element group yesterday that I was worried that would be something that would come in. And furthermore, I was also worried when I saw it was only Team Fury because if you're having a press conference and it's Fury Usek, I can 100% understand Usek not taking part because Alexander Usek is training, he's more than, I think he's training in his home country or if not somewhere in East Europe. So for him to get on a plane, fly to the UK, and then fly back, you're wasting potentially two to three days of training. So I can understand that. And I don't think he could fly into Morecambe. In fact, Morecambe is Lancashire, isn't it? So I can understand him not going. Makes sense. And obviously it's Fury's hometown, so it's fine for him. But would you not at least have a representative like Alex Krasuk there in his place? That when they are saying, you know, Usyk's a crybaby, someone can go and say, well, hang on a minute. You know, imagine you're Rishi Sunak and there's a big press conference as to why he should still be prime minister. 
and they give all these reasons and there's no opposition at all. And some people would say in the UK there is no opposition, but you get what I'm saying. There's no one there to refute anything. That's what this was like. And, you know, Tyson Fury, first he says that, you know, please don't say Alexander Rusek is something after I beat him because he's not. And of course, Alexander Rusek, we all know he isn't. But then he goes and says he could beat Alexander Rusek 25 stone and drinking 15 pints. What's he got to do? Jib jab me around. So why don't you then? If Alexander, see, here's the thing, right? Fury will say with Usyk, oh, it's an easy fight, he's a middleweight, he's this, that, and the other. Okay, well, I can, with, with Nganu, you know, you John Fury saying it was a dangerous fight. And obviously Tyson didn't obviously view it as a dangerous fight. He can say whatever he wants, I trained 12 weeks, this, that, and the other. Look at the shape he came in, he clearly didn't take it serious. Now, on the other hand, he's saying that Alexander Usyk is a middleweight, he's this, that, and the third. But he's a very good shape, by the looks of things anyway, certainly by his standards. So he's taking it serious. You know, it, it's one or the other. In terms of some of the other things Tyson Fury has said, he has reiterated that he expects to fight Anthony Joshua twice after his two fights with Alexander Rusek. We have to wait and see how May the 18th goes. I, again, you know, that, that's what I took from this press conference. I, I just found it random, more so than anything else. Um, with Fury, it's not going to affect his training because he's obviously in Markham. So it's not really going to affect him, but it just came across as very strange that you would have a press conference just out of the blue for a fight that's a good five weeks away and you would have no it, it's it's like it's Tyson Fury Usyk press conference with no representative from Team Alexander Usyk and it's again for me it was more so is it like because obviously Tyson Fury was talking about you know Usyk's moving up to heavyweight and this that and the other and them not be and again none of these were with the exception of maybe Holyfield but again you have to look at the context of those losses and in fact he did beat Riddick Bow. none of them were as good as Usek. none of them did what they or Usek did a cruiserweight and Alexander Usek has beaten big heavyweights like Anthony Joshua who Anthony Joshua is still a top heavyweight so again is that Tyson Fury just trying to say it he can say it to himself but to say it out to other people and not really be challenged on it you know, where it's like, you know, Alexander Usyk has stepped up to heavyweight, but so did Thomas Adamek. Did that go well for him? No. Did it go well for David Hay? No. Did it go well for even Holyfield in the end? Well, it went very well for Holyfield, undisputed champion, four-time heavyweight champion of the world. Not too shabby. Realist, not too shabby. Um, I wonder, is that all it is? Tyson Fury just trying to appear as though he's trying to talk himself into this fight because he knows deep down Alexander Rusek is a dangerous fight in spite of whatever he may say actions speak louder than words if he didn't take this if he didn't think this fight was dangerous would he come in in as good a shape you know he said what you want oh and Ganu is a more dangerous fight Fury looked aesthetically terrible Usek's an easier fight aesthetically he looks way better the old actions speak louder than words I'll leave it there let me know your thoughts on the press conference in the comment section below I, I, I just it was a strange one when I saw the email I was like why is there a furious press conference this it's so random uh, I would have loved to have attended but obviously you know even if I was in London it's a lot it's, it's oh, I wouldn't even if I was in London it's like a four and a bit hour drive it's actually quicker by train but it's not one train I was like nah nah even if I was in London I'd be like nah mate I'll uh Unless unless someone's paying me to be there, uh, uh, that's going to be a trek of a trip. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hope you enjoyed it, people. Smash the like button if you could. Hit subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. Peace.